Hey guys, this is Braden with Meet Aircraft Services. I wanted to talk a little bit today about lock wiring V-band clamps on exhaust and bleed air systems on Piper aircraft. Uh, the reason we lock wire these clamps is because they tend to fail uh, typically at the T-bolt, uh, which allows the clamp to fall off of the exhaust or bleed air pipe which can pose a fire hazard as there's lots of hot gases coming out within the cowling of the aircraft. Now Piper actually released a service bulletin, uh, service bulletin 884 to help uh, minimize the risk of these clamps failing. Uh, I will go ahead and throw the list of affected aircraft up on the screen now. On this next page of the service bulletin here, we can see a diagram for how they want us to lock wire the clamps. And we can also see here that they specify that we must lock wire these clamps with 041 safety wire. Moving on, I will demonstrate the method that they would like us to use to lock wire these clamps to prevent the clamps from falling off in the event of a T-bolt failure. So first what we're going to do is we are going to put our safety wire through the first side of that clamp there and we're going to make a single twist all the way across leading up to the nut side of the v-band clamp on from there we are going to feed our safety wire through either side of the clamp there and we're going to pull it as tight as we can trying to make sure that 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 center strand of double twist is nice and tight after that, we'll do a, a double twist around the sleeve for the T-bolt, and we will then tighten that up, creating our tail for the safety wire. In this demonstration here, I'm going to twist my safety wire counterclockwise for the tail, and then I'm going to go ahead and snip it off and uh, roll it over on itself. This will create a nice rounded edge on our safety wire so that it does not pose a safety hazard for anyone doing service in the future. And now you can see that our safety wire is nice and tight and that clamp will not open up. And up on the screen now is a photo of what our finished product should look like. You can see that that safety wire grabs the clamp from both sides and pulls it together so that if that T-bolt were to break, that clamp could not fall. Up on the screen now you can see some incorrect methods for lock wiring that we commonly see on these clamps. On this first example you can see that it was done from one side of the clamp straight over to the T-bolt itself. In the event that that T-bolt were to break depending on the point in which it broke, that clamp would still be able to come loose. On this next example here, we can see that it was lock wired from one side of the clamp to the other and then from there onto the T-bolt itself. This unfortunately is still not correct as these V-band clamps have to be torqued to a certain torque spec and over time they work loose. So if this clamp were to work loose and needed to be retorqued, you physically could not get onto that nut for the T-bolt in order to retorque it. The safety wire wrapped around the the T-bolts threads like that is also not ideal as, as this aircraft flies it will create lots of vibrations and that safety wire will start to dig into the threads of the T-bolt making it unable to be reused in the future. And with that that's about all I have on lock wiring V-band clamps. Thank you for watching and I will catch you at the next one.